Item 1 is a request to James Hammond for a grievance conference, and I'm going to turn this over to Mr. Phillips, our attorney, because this has been the first time that this has happened come to the city council, so I'm going to let Mr. Phillips go. Uh, let me uh, start out by setting the groundwork here a little bit. As most of you are uh, you're all aware, Mr. Hammonds was Rogersville police officer and was dismissed by action of the chief and the mayor. As, as they are authorized to do so. Uh, Tennessee is an at-will employment state and anyone can be dismissed for any reason, reason or not. Uh, it doesn't take a reason. Uh, but our personnel policy provides that uh, we have a grievance policy. And so if Mr. Hammonds has something here tonight uh, that bears directly on his dismissal as a police officer. I'm not gonna allow ad hominem attacks on people uh, personally, but if he has something directly that bears on his uh, his dismissal and wants the board mayor and all of them to hear it, and you you are of course entitled to hear it and uh, and issue your opinion on the matter. So I'll allow Mr. Hammonds to speak if he wants to do so. On July the 11th, 2013, upon my arrival for work as a Rogersville police officer, <coughs> I was called to Mr. Lyons' office by Police Chief Doug Nelson and told I was terminated. I was given a termination notice that stated as a reason for firing was due cause. When asked what that meant, Chief Nelson stated Roger wouldn't quit calling. He was referring, of course, to Roger Stewart. At no point was I allowed to express my side of things or a defense of my job. I honestly did not know why I was being fired, but I've since realized I was being, was because of Roger Stewart holds a personal grudge against me and has nothing to do with my job performance. At the conclusion of this meeting, Chief Nelson then demanded my service weapon. I have been fired because of false allegations involving Roger Stewart's wife, which had nothing to do with my employment. Mr. Stewart and his cronies have caused damage to my career without benefit of a fair investigation. I will put my credibility and good standing next to Roger Stewart's without hesitation. Perhaps that's why I was denied an opportunity to tell my side the honest side, in short, the truth. I realize that Mr. Lyons and Chief Nelson conduct personal business with each other. I also realize that Roger Stewart does business with Mr. Lyons, Doug Nelson, and William Phillips through his work at Citizens Bank. I further understand that Roger Stewart may have retained Mr. Phillips or his law firm to represent him in a vehicle homicide charge he now faces. Please know that after my termination, <coughs> Chief Nelson called me and asked to come by my residence. When he arrived, he told me it would look better on me if I would resign instead of being terminated. I refused. He then threatened to bring false charges against me if I exposed anything I knew on him. Mm -hmm. I was told that Mr. Phillips would assist in making good on this threat. Mayor Sells knows that I did not support him in his re-election bid in 2013. He cautioned me about ending up on the wrong side of the political fence when the election is over. I never campaigned against Mr. Sales or for his opponent during work hours. Mayor Sales has a personal and political connections with Roger Stewart. That coupled with his personal dislike for me not supporting him during his re-election campaign contributed to my unjust termination for so-called due cause, whatever that means. I was fired for poli purely political reasons relating to both the city election of 2013 and the town's loyalty to Roger Stewart, which has cost me both my job and my right to appeal of, a of excuse me, the appeal of the firing according to the town of Rogersville's personnel policy handbook, that Rogersville city government should not act as if it is somehow beholden to Roger Stewart. Instead, we are beholden to the taxpaying citizens of the town of Rogersville. I most respectfully request that the will of the citizens of the town of Rogersville through you, their elected representatives, be carried out immediately, returning me to my job. Your constituents would strongly agree with this proposed action. Thank you, and may God bless. Thank you. We'll need some action by the board of mayor and aldermen. <coughs> I'll make a motion we uphold the decision made by our, our police chief. I'll second that. Okay. Moved and second. Any other discussion? A roll call. 
DeWitt. Uh, Edwards. Uh, Anderson. Uh, F. Hartness. Uh, 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 We're going to confer and in all likelihood file suit in the United States District Court because of this. Uh, what would be the grounds? Violation of due process, wrongful termination. Well, Bill Lyons, I have a transcript to show this, said that he would follow the, the, the uh, handbook of the uh, town of Rogersville, and then he was willfully cast it aside and did whatever he wanted to. Mr. Lyons approved the firing, and then he was uh, in charge of deciding whether that approval uh, should be upheld or not. Guess what? He, he upheld his own his own decision. So uh, the primary problem is the firing. Roger Stewart has apparently nominated himself <coughs> the most powerful man in Hawkins County, the most powerful man in Rogersville, and apparently this town council uh, does whatever he wants. When you were fired, what what was said to you? Roger wouldn't quit calling. Roger wouldn't quit calling. Well, for the record, James, is is there any truth to the allegation that you and Mr. Stewart's wife had an affair? No, there's no truth to it, and there was no investigation. Where, where did this allegation come from? From Mr. Stewart over some fraud that uh, I'm going to be having investigated that he's done on a land deal. So he, he used it as leverage against you? Yes. Okay. And, and of course, you know Mr. Stewart is under indictment presently for vehicular homicide. 